Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our shoulder muscles and our bicep muscles with a little bit of calf work. So straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side before I start my workout. I ensure that I go through this motion just to unlock my body's mobility no matter which body part I am working on with. Please do go ahead and do any other kind of dynamic stretches which you prefer to do and that's absolutely fine. But dedicate those 5 minutes before starting your workout other than if required 5 minutes of cardio. Post completing my greatest stretch, I moved on to my deep squat wherein I felt the hamstring stretch and once they are completely stretched, I bend my knees and go into a deep squat as deep as I can. Post completing my deep squat, we move on to our first exercise rear delt raises with a barbell which we have done earlier also a pretty simple exercise take a barbell here i taken a preloaded barbell take it behind your body hold it with your palms facing up and then try to raise it as high as possible causing contraction in your rear delt muscle now make sure you don't take a really heavy weight because that would cause the stress to travel onto your quads or your back Instead, just take a weight which is challenging enough. We are going to do 20 repetitions of it. So we are going to build on stress using volume. Just simply try to squeeze those red delts as much as possible by doing a larger volume instead of lifting heavy weight which would otherwise shift the stress onto your quad muscles or your back. There are multiple videos wherein I have increased the speed of the playback a little bit to get all of the information as quickly as possible to you. The next exercise is again a ray delt raise but this time using an incline bench for support and with couple of dumbbells. Nothing new, we have done this earlier also. I have used this particular exercise as a ray delt exercise multiple times because of the kind of contraction I get better than any other ones. So I prefer to do this. For the first set, I have done a 15 repetition. For second and third set, I used 10 repetitions each wherein I have increased the weight which I have gone with. Now make sure you keep your chin tucked in at both the exercises completely basically eliminating any of the involvement of your upper trapezium or a mid trapezium. Keeping your chin tucked in helps you with that. Now placing your legs down or legs up is as per your comfort. I like it keeping my legs down. The next exercise is overhead press. Now for this overhead press I usually don't like to rest my back but here I did. For the first set I have done 15 repetitions. Second and third set is an 8 repetition high weight uh, sets. Now rest in between was 45 seconds. Make sure you keep your palms facing towards your face. In this particular angle it is not very evident but I am very quickly going to switch the camera angle. so you can understand it better. A neutral grip is also absolutely fine but I prefer to isolate the front and mid delts as much as possible. So just keep your palms facing towards your face and that should give you a lot of front delt isolation. As you can see here how my palms are facing my face in the second and third set wherein I performed a little bit heavier set. Now if your shoulders are getting tired and fatigued that's absolutely fine. Remember this is a volume based training method wherein we use high number of repetitions and sets to get maximum stress on the muscle instead of lifting more weight for less reps and sets. The next exercise I chose to do is lateral raises. 3 sets, 20 repetitions. I stuck with the same weight 5 kilo dumbbells. What I have done is I have leaned a little bit forward just slightly to again eliminate any kind of other muscles getting involved during the race and then also did not ever completely get the dumbbells down. The dumbbells never came and touched my thighs. I stopped almost at the complete mark and then started raising up. This keeps the tension on on your lateral muscles especially the lateral delt. Now 3 sets, 20 repetitions and you should feel it pretty fired up. If you are able to get if you are able to take much heavier weight, please go ahead and do that. But if you kind of fail at 15 repetition mark, 
drop the weight a little bit and try to get those 20 repetitions or even use a rest pause technique wherein you rest for three to four seconds and complete your set. The next exercise is basically setting yourself on an incline bench again and doing around the walls two sets 20 repetitions now again working on our ray delt as you can see i never raise my arms completely up i just keep them in the level of my ray delt basically like i'm trying to swim and go around using or completely using the range of motion of my ball and socket joint and letting the ray delt contract as much as possible since we are trying to get as much volume in terms of sets for every muscle possible. Post completing my ray delt exercise, I moved on to my lateral work again. Here I am using a cable lateral raise, this time placing the cable in front of me. Otherwise, I usually like to place it behind me, but right now I am placing it in front of me. Again, three sets, 10 repetitions each hand. One of the things which I want to mention is that not to take a break in between it's absolutely not necessary since we're going 10 repetitions we just want to constantly keep the tension high on our lateral delts so just switch from one arm to the other and continue doing the sets the first set the camera recording stopped abruptly i don't know why but as you can see in the second and third set i just keep switching from one hand to the other just to ensure the volume stays high now you need you shouldn't be taking a break, but if at any point you feel extremely fatigued, just pause for a couple of seconds and try to complete your repetitions. Keep the weight minimum, don't load extremely heavy weight and try to focus as much as possible on the range of motion and getting a complete raise. Post completing my shoulder work, I moved on to my bicep work, starting off with high cable curls, three sets, 20 repetitions each hand. Again, the important part is not to take rest. You switch from one arm to the other pretty quickly and basically the rest is the amount of time the other arm is working, one arm is resting. Now when doing high cable curls, make sure you move your body away from your bicep. This involves a lot of stretch in your long head and gives you the maximum amount of contraction there. You can use a bench you can place a bench in front of you if you feel that you are unable to support yourself place a bench in front of you and hold on to it while you do these curls but i would suggest to take a weight which you can control and curl since we are using 20 repetitions the bicep activation will be pretty good you need not go really heavy to get a lot of stress going on by the time you complete your second set like i did you should feel a quite a good amount of pump in your bicep and a lot of tightness which doesn't allow you to get more repetitions out of it but we need to keep going as you can see i just quickly keep switching in between my hands the reason why i'm speeding up the videos is because it's a pretty simple exercises which we have done earlier also nothing absolutely new just that we are doing it at a very quicker pace continuously without taking a break and the exercises also need not require a lot of explanation in terms of your form and position. Pretty easy exercises to perfume. perform. I'm sorry. Make sure you, when you're curling, try to get the maximum amount of squeeze on your bicep muscle. Press as hard as possible, as much as possible. Yes, you will fail close to the 15th or 16th repetition but that's absolutely fine keep going post completing my high cable curls i moved on to incline bench preacher curls again i have done this earlier pretty simple exercise set up a bench at an incline and start doing the preacher curls while standing the important part here is to make sure once you're bringing the dumbbell high up near your shoulders turn your wrist outwards to get that extra bit of squeeze on your shorter arm of the bicep or the shorter muscle of the bicep again three sets 10 repetitions without a break we switch from one arm to the other yes it will be quite intense you might feel that your biceps are about to just cramp up really hard but yes that is what we are trying to get here lifting 
just challenging weights not extremely heavy but stressing them out enough by putting a lot of volume in a non-stop manner here you can see in the side angle how i curl basically turning my palm outwards as i come up to get the maximum amount of contraction out of my bicep at any point if you feel like you're unable to curl it take two to three seconds or maybe even five seconds in between a rep and try to get back and finish your repetitions 10 repetitions you can push through i'm pretty sure that's the reason it's very important to not take an extremely heavy dumbbell and challenge yourself too much like here i just took a 7.5 kilo dumbbell my muscles my biceps were already completely full of blood from the high cable curls so this was more than challenging enough for me try to push yourself as much as possible and get the all and complete all the repetitions post completing my inclined dumbbell curls i moved on to concentration curls here again we have no break in between we switch from one arm to the other in the first bit i have kept my palms facing up a regular concentration curl eight repetitions on each arm for my next two sets i have pronated my grip wherein my palms were facing down my shoulder was internally rotated and then i did 20 repetitions each hand now as the video progresses i'm going to speed it up but pretty soon you're going to see how my legs started cramping up thanks to the heavy amount of volume i was putting through today so as I was completing my two sets of eight repetitions of concentration curls and tried to move on to my pronated grip, my legs started becoming extremely cramped up. I had to take a few seconds off before I could start back. Make sure you don't press your elbow very hard into your legs. The elbow resting on your legs is just to ensure that the curl is very strict form. You shouldn't be resting your elbows on the legs. So for the pronated grip, just keep your palms facing down and start curling. There will be internal rotation of your shoulder. Again, we are here working on a brachii muscle, which is basically in your forearm and goes under your bicep and pushes it out. So the better or the bigger it grows, the bigger the bicep looks from the side. 20 repetitions shouldn't be very challenging. You should be able to achieve it. The important part here is to not press really hard into your thigh muscles, in the thigh muscles. Remember the thigh muscle or your leg support is only to make sure that your curl is strict. You don't swing your arm much. Keep your arm as straight as possible and go through the complete range of motion. Don't stop halfway. Squeeze as hard as possible and let the dumbbell go all the way down. Even if it touches the floor, let it go all the way down. Here is where I was struggling to adjust myself because my legs started cramping up. I took few seconds and then moved on to it. Make sure you're hydrated well, especially during high volume exercises it's very important that you're well hydrated and have enough amount of salts in your body cramping usually happens when there is a fall in the number of salts or or if you're not well hydrated so pre-workout or ors and maybe even a little bit of glucose could help you go through a long volume or a heavy volume excess uh, workout routine Good food is fine, but sometimes we get exhausted in the gym when we are putting on a high volume very in a very quick progression wherein your muscles might completely get exhausted of glucose. Is That's when they start to cramp up. For my next exercise, which is the last one for the day, I'm going to do standing calf raises. Two sets, failure repetitions. So I started to do the repetitions at a normal pace, no holding this time. But the moment I hit the 15th or 16th rep is wherein I started getting tired. So I used rest pause technique wherein I paused for a few seconds at a stretch 
and then went on to get another five repetitions, paused again, again tried to get another five repetitions. So accumulated a total of 25 repetitions using the rest pause technique. I suggest you do the same since we are not using hold for every repetition. We want to get more repetitions out of the set. Take up to 60 seconds break in between even if required more. I was tired so I was taking 60 to 90 seconds break in between the sets. And that's it for today. We are done with our exercises. I'm going to finish off with a simple vertical hang which will decompress my shoulders and also stretch my biceps. I was exhausted so I prefer to go with it. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback and comments, I would definitely respond. Thank you again for joining me. We'll keep on with the intensity and try to break our plateau in terms of strength and body shape. Thank you. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.